In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete Coinbase Wallet. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Coinbase Wallet application, then go to the bottom menu and select over here on the rightmost icon like so. Now, you should get something that looks like this. However, if you do have your Coinbase wallet connected to your Coinbase account, then it's not going to give you this screen. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and disconnect the two beforehand so you're able to go ahead and see this menu. But it's really important that you guys don't have it associated with any other account. So if you do have your Coinbase wallet account associated with your Coinbase account, then you need to unlink the two before doing so. Anyways, guys, the next thing you want to do is you want to actually empty out your wallet. So go ahead and take out all of your funds and deposit it to another wallet because obviously if you're trying to delete your wallet uh, with all the crypto in it, then it is going to delete the crypto as well. And you really don't want to do that. So also keep that in mind. But anyways, guys, once you're over here, you want to go ahead and press on this option that does say recovery phase. Let's go ahead and press on that. And now it is going to make me enter in my password. So I just entered it in. And then there you go. It's going to say recovery phase or private key request. So go ahead and press on allow. And now go ahead and press on copy. So copy this key somewhere safely. You guys could also back it up using Google Drive as well. So there's a lot of great options as well. And then once you went ahead and back that up, then whenever you do open up this part, it will actually give you a different menu. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and go to the top right and press on the cog icon right over here to open up your settings. Then from here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that does say sign out. Now, in some areas of the world, there's actually a button that's going to say delete. Unfortunately, I do not have, but do not worry guys, because you could go ahead and still delete your account. However, you will need to go ahead and contact customer support, which is a little bit of a pain. I really just don't like these kinds of customer support systems, honestly. But yeah, you guys could then go to the search bar and then just look up delete like so. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.